Remarkable stories about researchers discovering new species have always captured people's imaginations, and they've also been a staple in our videos on this channel. But this time, we're taking it a step further to dedicate an entire episode to celebrating two kinds of extraordinary tales, species rising from the brink of extinction and those that have only just been discovered. From the astonishing revival of the California condor to the discovery of Voldemort's ant and a chocolate frog, this episode will give you a tantalizing taste of nature's wonders. Hey, I'm your host Regis, and today we're looking at 1,000 newly discovered animal species. Did you know that over 46,300 species are currently teetering on the edge of extinction? That's 28% of all assessed species on Earth. Plants, animals, fungi, and even microbes. According to experts, the main factors behind these declines are habitat destruction and loss of genetic variation. But here's the good news. All hope is far from lost. In fact, thanks to dedicated conservation efforts, more and more species are being saved from extinction every year. Even better, new species are being discovered at an incredible rate. For us nature lovers, it's an exciting reminder of just how much there is to protect and how much remains to be discovered. To understand why conservation is so vital, let's take a look at the numbers. Since 1970, wildlife populations have declined by an average of 69%. The International Union for Conservation's Red List offers a breakdown of the species most at risk. Thankfully, there are many dedicated individuals and organizations rising up to the challenge of saving the Earth's biodiversity, and their efforts are already making a measurable impact. For example, an effort to protect Mediterranean biodiversity enabled this spectacular return of this elusive Iberian lynx. As a result, a dwindling population of about 62 mature individuals in 2001 rose to over 2,000 individuals today. In addition to camera trapping, tagging, and tracking of the lynx population, the experts also restored the ecosystem and prey populations. This way, not only did the lynx numbers increase, but the species had plenty of resources that ensured its long-term survival as well. Even more inspiring was the slow but steady growth of the California condor population. The settlers of the New World weren't very kind to this species. Not only did they destroy nests while stealing condor eggs, but they also hunted them down along with their prey, causing the wild population to dwindle. With the last adult captured from the wild in 1987, the species was thought to be extinct in the wilderness, with about 30 individuals being kept in various zoos. In the 1980s, zoos in Southern California started to breed these magnificent birds in captivity, releasing their offspring out into the wild. In 2020, a survey by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service estimated that there were about 500 of these majestic birds in the world, with some 330 in the wild. Our next species is perhaps a little bit less majestic, but it sure makes up for it with adorable cuteness. I'm of course referring to the pygmy hog, which was listed in the IUCN endangered list back in 1960. A survey in 1970 claimed that less than 150 pygmy hogs were living in the wild. Since then, the pygmy hog conservation program has made a valiant effort to reintroduce the species into the wild. Nurturing a captive population of around 70 hogs has enabled the conservationists to introduce 130 individual animals into four protected areas, resulting in a 40% increase in population by 2014. While efforts to save endangered species show us how much we can achieve through dedication and innovation, there's also another side to the story of Earth's incredible biodiversity. In addition to saving the species we already know about, scientists are also constantly uncovering brand new ones. In the past 250 years, humans have described and cataloged around 1.2 million separate plant and animal species. You might have thought that we have already discovered most of what our nature has to offer, but actually that couldn't be further from the truth. In fact, some scientists believe that there are approximately 8.7 million species left to be found. According to the Science Museum of Virginia, about 18,000 new species are discovered every year. Let's take a closer look at some of these fascinating discoveries. First, a treat for you reptile lovers. A new frog species was recently discovered in the Amazonian peatland of the Putumayo Basin in Peru. And no wonder these species stayed hidden for so long. It's a fossorial frog, meaning it burrows under the forest floor. So even though people might have heard their shrill cry, they probably never knew where it came from. Since the frog has a distinctive snout resembling a tapir, it got the nickname the tapir frog. Now, here's a fun fact for you. 
When the discovery of the Tapir Frog made the headlines, Harry Potter fans, like me, were immediately reminded of the Chocolate Frog, a well-known sweet in the wizard community, which carries with it a famous Witches and Wizards card. I think we can all see the resemblance here. And it seems that Harry Potter fans truly come from all walks of life including the scientific community. While researching subterranean species in Western Australia, scientists discovered a peculiar-looking ant that reminded them of Potter's infamous foe, he who shall not be named. Of course, they had to name him, and thus Leptinilla Voldemort was born. These ants are slender, ghostly cream-colored, and have elongated mandibles and antenna. Living entirely underground, they've evolved to have no eyes. Can you see the resemblance? But let's get back to frogs for a second. Finding the burrowing chocolate frog was not easy, but herpetologists managed to do it following its distinctive call. Remarkably, the same approach allowed them to discover the second smallest vertebrate known to science. Living in the vast rainforests of Brazil, this tiny frog grows to only 6.95 millimeters in length. It belongs to a group of frogs called flea frogs, and we can all see where they got that nickname. If you're fond of cute animals, you will surely adore this sponge crab. There are around 130 species in the sponge crab family, but this recent one was accidentally discovered by a family enjoying a day on the beach. Once the family realized this funny-looking fluffy crab might be something special, they sent it to the Western Australian Museum to be identified. Now, the fluff is actually an evolutionary camouflage tactic, but the sponge crabs seem to think that it's not good enough because they also like to wear sea sponges on their shells. Either this is another attempt at camouflage, or these crabs just have a weird sense of fashion. Well, since we're already on the beach, let's venture a little deeper under the sea. Okay, a lot deeper. 3,000 meters to be exact. At that depth, scientists have recently uncovered not one, but four new species of octopus. We actually talked about this amazing discovery in our weekly dose of good news, so be sure to check that out. Using a state-of-the-art deep-sea research vessel named Falcor, the experts were able to explore an area of about 250 square kilometers off the coast of Costa Rica and collect over 3,000 deep-sea specimens. Since about 80% of our ocean is still unexplored, this new technology opened a whole new world of underwater exploration. After making amazing discoveries in Costa Rica, the Schmidt Ocean Institute conducted deep-sea research further south in Chile, uncovering more than 100 new species. Using an ROV called Subastion, get it, and other high-tech equipment, the experts surveyed underwater mountains stretching from Chile to Rapa Nui, better known as Easter Island. In total, the researchers managed to map 52,800 square kilometers of uncharted ocean and found, as the experts said, a mind-blowing amount of new species. Those included never-before-seen coral, lobsters, sea urchins, and fish, such as this chonocops, or sea toad. And if you're fond of the ocean depths and want to explore them yourself one day, fear not. According to experts, we still have to uncover 91% of underwater species on Earth, so there's plenty more to look for. Back on land, there was good news for bee lovers across the planet when a research team at the Pennsylvania State University discovered six new species. This is great news even if you don't like bees. If you watched our monthly dose of good news for December, you might remember that around 80% of flowering plants on Earth require bees to pollinate them. So without these hard-working, honey-making insects, civilization would have a really, really rough time. Just a decade ago, environmentalists and agriculturalists were raving about the decline of bee populations and the ramifications that this would have for the rest of the planet. In fact, about 10 million beehives had been lost, and nobody was sure why. Luckily, an increased interest in beekeeping resulted in their numbers slowly but surely rising, with more than a million colonies added in the last five years just in the United States. Before we continue with even more newly discovered animals, we really appreciate all of the support and feedback that you guys give us in the comments. If you like hearing good news but haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do that so you get your weekly dose of positivity as soon as it comes out. Okay, now back to the video. Just south of Costa Rica lies Alto Mayo, a densely populated region in Peru. Like other parts of the Amazon, Alto Mayo has been struggling with deforestation and agricultural expansion. At least 49 species living in the region are classified as endangered, and it's probably the last place you'd expect to uncover new ones. Yet a recent survey by Conservation International's Moore Center for Science uncovered 27 previously unknown species. The strangest of them were probably a tree-climbing salamander and a unique blob-headed fish. 
When it comes to mammals, scientists found a spiny mouse, a short-tailed fruit bat, a dwarf squirrel, and a semi-aquatic mouse. This mouse lives in a unique part of a swamp, and experts believe it may not live anywhere else on Earth. Since we're already poking around the Amazon jungle, we have to mention the discovery of an entirely new species of carnivorous mammals, and it's about to melt your heart. Imagine a cross between a house cat and your favorite childhood teddy bear, and you get the Olinguito. It's the first carnivorous mammal identified in the Western Hemisphere in the last 35 years, and experts say it belongs to the raccoon family. Scientists first spotted one in a fig tree in Ecuador in 2006, but they thought it was an olingo, which was known to science at the time. It took years until genetic science determined that the olinguito was an entirely separate species. The Amazon seems to be a hot spot for new species, but incredible discoveries are being made all over the world. For example, from 2013 to 2023, 742 newly described species were found in the African Congo Basin alone. These include 430 plants, 140 invertebrates, 96 fish, 22 amphibians, 42 reptiles, 2 birds, and 10 mammals. For example, the slender-snouted crocodile. If you've ever visited the Oregon Zoo, you might have met Lance. We see him here enjoying a delicious breakfast. We should mention several newly discovered plant species as well. For example, the hairy coffee plant discovered in Guinea, West Africa, the Thysmia malayana, a parasitic plant from the forests of Malaysia, or a beautiful new species of orchid from Madagascar. Our planet is truly a gift that keeps on giving filled with hidden treasures that remind us how much more there is to explore, protect, and understand. And with 86% of all species still unknown, we're sure that there are many more surprises to come. Let me know which discovery was your personal favorite and why in the comments down below. And join us next time for another healthy dose of good news.